From movies to the mall, kids always find a way to spend money, but a few dollars can also teach them some valuable lessons. Tonight, News Channel 5's Deborah Lee shows us how children are learning to manage money with an allowance. Check out this cool iPod Touch Melanie just got. She bought it with money she's been saving from her allowance. Five dollars every Saturday placed in a jar in the kitchen for chores performed around the house. We have to clean our dishes, put them in the dishwasher, and we have to um, clear the table, set the table, um, help with the laundry. Mom Tracy says she's teaching her daughters the value of money by giving them allowances. These are things that I would spend money on anyway, so rather than take it out of my pocket, I give it to them and let them manage it. But that's where Tracy and her friend Chris disagree. I just feel that they don't need to be paid to just pick up after themselves and, and help out with the daily chores in the house. Both moms are right to an extent. First, let's look at the three types of allowances. According to family and consumer sciences educator Nancy Hudson, an educational allowance teaches kids how to manage money. An entitlement allowance is given by parents who just believe kids should share the family money. And an earned allowance is payment for chores performed. An allowance is an excellent way to teach kids financial management, but Hudson warns it should not be tied to chores. When you tie it to chores, sometimes you say, hey, would you go get me that magazine? And kids will go, well, how much will you give me for doing it? It starts to tie money to everything, you know, where it ought to be just part of a family obligation. School teaches kids the three R's and allowances teach them the three S's to save, share and spend. A lesson that can start as early as five years old or as soon as a child can recognize coins. When they're older, it's too late. A lot of students are dropping out of college because of credit card debt. They're not prepared to make decisions about putting money aside for the things that they need versus the things that are extra. Julie likes her sister's iPod Touch, but she's saving for a DVD player, and the girls give 10% to their church. For them, allowances have been a positive experience. We clearly buy them things they need, but the purpose of the allowance is really to help them um, figure out or learn the difference between what they need and what they want. Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.